Hello everybody, this is Jasmine continuing on for the Embassy of Peace with inspirational stories. We've already shared some of my experiences from clearing cancer and dealing with great sorrow and loss to stepping into a new pattern of energy and work and the magic that was around that. And we wish to then continue on from the previous three videos. You know, I went on the road and there was so much magic there. I just witnessed so much synchronicity and so much grace. And at the end, I just knew that this was exactly what I was meant to be doing. But there began to be obviously some backlash because what we were talking about was something so preposterous for so many people's mental paradigms. The idea that we did not need to take physical food, that we were being fed in a different way. And when I look back, it's true, I wish I had some of the understanding I have today then, and I could have shared it a little differently. But I was just working my way through it all, sharing as I'd been guided by the Ascended Masters. And I once asked Saint Germain, why me? And he said, because you are so naive. <laughs> he said, you think everybody who meditates has experienced their pure nature. And so you could go out onto the global stage assuming that those who had had those experiences would be those you would reach. And that was true. But we also drew the attention of a lot of skeptics and a lot of, of really challenging people, audiences filled with people who were parents of anorexics or much, much more. And it was very interesting to deal with the energy mix. We had so many people come who were curious and skeptical or supporting and loving. And for me, it was overwhelming. At that stage, I was still absorbing energy and I hadn't learned that I need to be able to radiate rather than absorb. But as a sensitive, I felt like I was being bombarded by all these different transmissions, which I hadn't learned to flip into a radiation and not be affected by them. And one day I came home from tour and I was absolutely, ah, uh, and I was sitting in my apartment meditating in my garden and I was just feeling, I can't do it. It's just too much. I just, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not wise enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not courageous enough. It's just too much. And I, and if I had have known that this is what I was meant to be doing, then I first would have been trained as a doctor. <laughs> you know, I could have gone to university and got a medical degree. Instead, I studied arts and computing. I could have also gone to the monastery and I said, I, and after I became a doctor, then I would have become a priest. And then people would take me more seriously and I wouldn't get this hard level of skepticism. I'd understand more because at that point to me, it was like, well, I'd gone through this initiation and it gave me this unexpected gift of freedom from the need to take physical food. And I can't really give you a formula. I can't give you the science, but it's real. And that's where I'd been at at that time, sharing of the lifestyle I'd been leading and, and how I clicked in and all of that. But it wasn't enough. So I was exhausted, complaining. <laughs> if I'd known I would have become a doctor, then a priest. And this voice just yelled at me and it just said, you have been trained for this. If not in this life, then another life, in another line of time, you have had the training or you wouldn't have been given this job. And for me, it was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. 
because I believe in the indestructibility of energy, that the human system is a system of energy and energy cannot be created. It cannot be destroyed, but it changes form. So for me, with that scientific understanding, I accepted not just past lives and linear time, but also simultaneous lives as well. So I thought, okay, I'm a computer programmer. Deepak Chopra talks about cellular memory and others say that every cell is like a video library and it stores within it the vibrational imprint and the, the experiences like videos of all our experiences through time since we first fell separate from source. That was my belief at the time and still is. And I thought, okay, if that's true, I am asking now for my pure essence nature. I want you to cross the lines of time, past, even present, simultaneous, parallel lives and future. And I want you to gather into the now moment for my use, all the gifts, all the talents, all the trainings that I have ever had from any line of time that is relevant to my life today and what I've been born to do this life. Do it. Well, nothing happened that I was aware of <laughs> because it has to be an energy match. So two years later, I'm sitting in the same spot, in the same chair, in the same garden, and this energy, it's like a download, but it's like somebody coming in through my crown chakra and an energy being straight into my body to take over my body, but not take over my body, to share my body with me, with my consciousness. And it was like, who are you? What are you doing here? And I got this image of the two years previously doing the coding. And I saw then what happened that I couldn't see then was an energy being um, a forming. So a little bit from this life, a little bit from that life, a little bit from here, a little bit from there, creating a new etheric construct of the best of me from all those timelines that was relevant for now. But I couldn't handle the frequency then, so I didn't have the experience then. But two years later, traveling, getting a bit more beaten and a bit more patient and humble, <laughs> suddenly there was an energy match and this golden being, this composite being, just straight into my body and expanded to fill. And for me, it was like, who are you? I know how you've been formed, but who are you? And this strong voice came in. I am Commander Itlan from the Starship Elysium. I am a commander with the Intergalactic Federation of Worlds. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> and I got this, this energy, this understanding that when my pure nature did the gathering from the different lives, parallel lives, simultaneous lives, that it went more to the future than the past. Because what I needed to do now was to understand the higher light science of how we are constructed, the magnificence of the human design, and how we can be nourished by zero point energy. Because prana is the Indian word for God or the divine, but this is zero point energy that vibrates through the unified field and vibrates through the 99.9% .9 space that is in our atoms. So it's there already. Its pulse just needs to be strong enough to give us this freedom, but we carry it. Every one of us carries this energy in our cellular structure, our atomic structure. But I didn't know that. And so it took six months. Oh my God. My husband, he was like, hello, what's happened? And I told him the experience 
and he went so there's like two of you now sharing this body and I said yep it feels actually a little schizophrenic and this beingness would come in and be very strong when I was writing, when I was doing my work, when I was um, preparing information to share about this on the interdimensional energy field science level. Because once that happened, when I closed my eyes, I could see all the energy pathways through creation. I could see how energy was running through the universe. I could see how energy was running through the grid points, through the white holes, through the black holes, through my body, through other people's bodies. It was like a full on matrix show, like the hard wiring of the universes and the hard wiring of creation and how energy responds to thoughts and feelings. And it was like being switched on in a way I'd never been switched on before. But my poor husband, he'd sometimes come into my office and say, are you ready for a break? And this other part, this new part, would look at him with no eyes of love and he'd go, okay, that one's in, I'll come back later. He learned he'd come in and he'd look in my eyes and if my eyes were filled with love, he'd go, ah, there's my wife and we could connect. And it took six months for me to fully integrate those energies so I could now have my prayers fulfilled. Because in those early years, it was like, it's not enough to talk about the power of love. I have to understand more of the science that behind how is it possible? And so through this merging with this composite beingness where we are now completely at one, I was able to open a line in time, in the space-time continuum, into the me that lives on board this starship in future time and to receive all the training in interdimensional energy field science um, that these ones have in future time and to assimilate it and integrate it and share it with the world. Because being um, free from human hungers, it's just formula, it's just a science. The ascension, personal ascension, global ascension, universal ascension, it just runs on mathematical scientific principles of fine tuning ourselves as energy systems vibrationally so we can lock into access, anchor in and maintain our presence in a different level in the matrix of creation. So being source fed, we have to shift vibrationally into a new position. We have to have a bio system that is in harmony. We have to allow that pure nature to be risen and dominate through the system because it's the one that carries the energy of real food to free us. Ah, so ooh, strange, strange stories, but these are just some of my stories and, and what is available to us all. Can you? Do that. Can you sit yourself now in this now moment and with pure love, radiate pure love out from your heart chakra and send this love through all timelines, past, present, parallel, simultaneous. And can you just sense yourself as a vast multidimensional being that is existing in holographic bubbles of reality in different lines of time? And can you just send out pure nourishing love, the sort of love that dissolves any um, imbalanced energy between you so you're not influenced in a limited way from any of these timelines? And then can you just, with this love, open to receive back to you all the gifts and all the talents and all the trainings and everything that may be relevant for you to fulfill your highest potential on earth today in a way that is harmonious for all of creation. Can you do that? Try. See. See what happens. When you open up to this, it's so much fun. It really is. I find that when I'm in deep meditation and the energy matches, I can be either aboard the starship or I can be on Earth. It's what we call being in a bilocated state. But that life is so much fun. And I've realized my life is here now. 
I just want to be here now. And so while all that energy can flow in and be accessible as I need it, my choice is to be very grounded and very present on earth because I'm already living that life as well simultaneously. And in linear time, I will flow into that. However, I'm here now, we are here now, and there is the greatest power in training ourselves to be fully present as pure presence in each now moment. Again, this is Jasmine sharing inspirational stories.